Hello there. I hope you're doing great. Today, I'll be talking all about the Bandicam interface and settings. So, without any further delay, let's get into the video. As we all know, Bandicam is the most popular screen recording software that is used by millions of users all around the world. One of the reasons for this large fan base is Bandicam's intuitive interface and vivid settings. Before using the full functionality of Bandicam, it's important to have a good knowledge of Bandicam's interface and settings, which you will learn more about in today's video. First is Home. Once you open Bandicam by clicking on the Bandicam icon, you will see the Home screen. On the top, you will have the Register window, Output folder, Scheduled recording, and Online help page. You cannot see the Register window on my screen, but that's only because I have already registered my Bandicam. Now to your left, you can see the Bandicam button. Click on the button, go to DPI Scaling, and change the DPI accordingly. Next, you can select your preferred recording mode from the following. Screen recording, device recording, and game recording. Moreover, you can add and check the webcam overlay, speaker microphone status, mouse cursor effects, and text overlay effects right here. Next to this, you can click the record, stop, or pause button and image capture button. Over here, you will find the region where you can configure the Bandicam settings and use more advanced functions. Now let's check the Home tab, which allows users to check all the recording modes as well as recorded videos and images. Number 1. Rectangle Area You can record a partial area in the Rectangle window. Number 2. Full Screen You can record the whole screen of your display by using this mode. Number 3. Around mouse. You can record the mouse cursor as you move it around your desktop screen. Number 4. Device recording. You can record external video devices such as webcam, Xbox, smartphone, IPTV, etc. Number 5. Game recording. You can record gameplay while showing the FPS value. Number 6. Audio only. You can record only audio without video. Click on the videos, images, and audios tab respectively to check your recorded files. Number 2. General. The general tab allows you to configure the general settings of Bandicam. Open Bandicam. and click on the General tab. Here you have the following options. A. Output folder. You can change the output folder or check the recorded videos on Windows Explorer. B. Bandicam window always on top. This feature puts the Bandicam window on top of all other windows. C. Start Bandicam minimized to tray. This feature allows Bandicam to start minimized to the system tray. D. Run Bandicam on Windows Startup. This feature allows the Bandicam program to automatically open when Windows starts. E. Advanced. This button allows you to set advanced Bandicam options, including hooking or language settings. F. Scheduled recording. This function allows you to schedule recordings that automatically start 
and stop at a specific time on a daily, weekly basis. G. Autocomplete Recording This function allows you to configure settings such as recording time limit, recorded file size limit, silent duration limit, and system shutdown upon the completion of recording. If you click on the advanced button, you will have more in-depth settings that you can modify. For example, if you go to the hooking tab, you can choose and control the hooking target. This is pretty useful for recording your video games. You can also change the language in Bandicam by clicking on the language tab and switching to your preferred language. If you want to change the hotkeys for controlling the different functions of Bandicam, then go to the Hotkeys tab and change the hotkeys accordingly. Well, these are some of the settings under General of Bandicam. If you face settings related issues or if Bandicam isn't working properly, then click on the Reset button right here. Number 3. FPS the FPS tab in Bandicam allows you to set the overlay FPS and FPS limit. For this, open Bandicam, click on the game recording mode, and click on the FPS tab. Here, you will have the following options. Show Hide Hotkey This option allows users to show or hide the FPS by using the hotkey. Position Hotkey This option allows users to change the position of FPS by using the hotkey. Show FPS Overlay This option allows users to show or hide FPS, also known as frames per second. Hotkey this option allows users to enable or disable the FPS limit by using the hotkey. Set FPS Limit 2 This option enables or disables the FPS limit option. 60 FPS The user can control the FPS. If you have a low-performance computer, reduce this FPS number from 60 to 30. Only when capturing. When this option is checked, the FPS will be restricted only when the streaming video is being recorded. On the other hand, when this option is unchecked, the recording target will be restricted by the FPS number. Now let's check this FPS functionality in action by running a game. Alright, right now we are inside the game and you can see the FPS at the corner of the game. Let me record the game by pressing the F12 button on my keyboard and you can see the FPS numbers has become red, showing that your gameplay has been recorded. Press the F12 button again to stop the recording process. Remember, this FPS tab can only be seen in game recording mode, as it will disappear in screen recording mode. Number 4. Video The Video tab in Bandicam allows users to set sound, logo, and video audio codec. Open Bandicam, select screen recording mode, and click on the video tab. Here you will have the following options. Record stop hotkey. This option enables or disables the hotkey for recording or stopping the recording. Pause Hotkey The Hotkey for Pause function can be enabled or disabled here. Show Mouse Cursor If this option is checked, the mouse cursor will be shown in the captured video. Add Mouse Click Effect If this option is checked, the recorded video will have the mouse click effects or animations. Add Webcam Overlay if this option is checked, the webcam stream will be recorded and merged with the main video. This is quite useful for tutorial or instruction purposes. Record settings 
The settings button under the record option allows users to record the audio and add a logo or webcam. Presets The preset tab under the format option allows users to select a video format. Format settings the settings button under the format option allows the setting of the format of the video that will be recorded. Now if you want to change the audio input and output of the recording or even change the webcam or anything as such, then you will have to click on the settings button under record. Here you can go to the sound tab, where you can change the audio input and output. For more information, please check my previous video tutorial. Similarly, you can go to the webcam tab and change the webcam device if you have more than one webcam connected to your computer. Mouse tab. Here you can enable show mouse cursor and add mouse click or highlight effects. Next is logo, text, and lastly we have options. Now let's move on to audio. Number 5. Audio The Audio tab in Bandicam allows users to set the audio-only hotkey and format settings. Open Bandicam by clicking on the Bandicam icon from the desktop. Then click on the down arrow of screen recording mode and click on Audio Only. Next, click on Audio. Here you can find the following options. Number 1. Record or Stop Hotkey This option enables users to set the record or stop function. Number 2. Pause Hotkey The hotkey for pause function can be set here. Number 3. Audio Only Record Settings This option allows users to set the speaker, microphone device selection, microphone volume control, and noise suppression filter. Number 4. Format Settings This option allows users to set the extension, MP3 or WAV audio channels, frequency and bitrate. Remember, the Audio tab can only be seen when you select the Audio-only recording menu. Number 6. Image The Image tab in Bandicam allows users to set the Capture hotkey, repeat screen capture, and format. Let's take a look at this in detail. Open Bandicam and make sure you're in screen recording mode. Then click on the image tab where you will have the following options. Hotkey the Hotkey F11 option enables users to designate the hotkey for image capturing. Repeat Screen Capture The Repeat Screen Capture option enables users to repeat the capturing at a certain interval. Show Mouse Cursor If this option is checked, the mouse cursor will be shown in the image captured. Add Logo Overlay this option allows users to add a logo to the image capture. Enable Shutter Sound. The shutter sound will be played when an image is captured. Settings. This button allows users to select the logo image, opacity, and position. Format. The format option allows users to decide the format BMP, PNG, or JPG of the image and quality. Number 7. About The About tab in Bandicam helps users to register the license and carry out Bandicam updates. Let's check it out. First open Bandicam and click on the About tab. Here, you can find information about the version of Bandicam that is installed on your computer. Next to it, you can check for updates by clicking on the Update Check button. 
You can also find the license information. If you're not registered, then you will see the register button, which you can click in order to enter your license information and register Bandicam successfully. If you want to use Bandicam on another computer, click the update registration button and unregister button. Well, these are the Bandicam interface and settings that you should know about. If you found this video to be helpful, then please subscribe to our channel as we'll bring in more contents related to Bandicam. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!